they braved the virus to come out here. They're heroes. <laughs> heroes, all of you. <laughs> I mean, really, the streets of Covent Garden are deserted. It's like a, it's like the Omega Man. <laughs> but um, it was really fun. I thought it was a different cut. I thought it was the European cut that had two missing scenes, but it's not. That's the American cut. Uh, so yeah, we we didn't see. There's a a whole scene where um, they, they they like the Hollywood Square scene, except it's Wheel of Fortune. They've Dog Boy is staged a different game show, and there's a whole dramatic scene there. And then, and then there's a scene where Alex says, uh, Rick says goodbye to all the freaks just before the last freak show. And that, it's a yeah. nice scene, but unfortunately, uh, got cut. Anyway, here we are, Q&A! <laughs> <laughs> I saw you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, talk us, how did this movie get started? Like, I mean, the cast is crazy. The story's nuts. You got to get a shit ton of money. You have. <laughs> Alex, you take that. What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> Is the insect dead? <laughs> um, all right. It, it, it was just the, the sort of how did it happen? Well, we showed the clip from Entering Texas. Um, we were big Butthole Surfers fans in college. We went to NYU Film School, Alex and I, where we met, started making films together. We both loved the Butthole Surfers. We were really into the underground rock scene then in New York. And uh, so uh, uh, we became friends with them. I shot uh, a CDGB show, uh, which you can see on YouTube. Um, it's Cherub. It's called attached to a short film called Cherub that, that I did with Alex Halpern, another friend of ours. Uh, uh, and anyway, so then we developed a relationship, friendship with them, and we went down to Austin and shot that movie with them. And then we thought it would be great to do a crazy independent feature that was basically a, a horror movie slash butthole surfer's vehicle. So we wrote that crazy script I referred to and, um, and, and couldn't get that made. But Gibby Haynes came up to Hollywood from Texas, and we, Alex and Gibby and I just kind of brainstormed crazy ideas for uh, a few weeks, and that was really fun. Yeah, and then we set about trying to get it financed, and, and we couldn't get it financed. So it was this attempt, what started as an attempt to make like a $250,000 punk rock horror movie with the Bubble Surfers uh, eventually morphed into this $12 million PG-13 studio movie, which is a, one of the strangest metamorphoses. It's a freak-like metamorphoses unto itself. That's true. You know, I've never thought of it like that, Alex. <laughs> it truly was a freakish metamorphosis. <laughs> yeah, um, Fox, Fox applied some Zygrot 24 to our butthole surfers script and it <laughs> t- turned into freak. Turned into this. And now, you know, of course, Monsanto got the idea for a uh, roundup from this film. Did you know that? Yeah, so sorry. But uh, it was, uh, you know, we did uh, predict a world of bioengineered nightmares. If only Elijah was here to save us from this damn virus. We don't want Elijah right now. No? We love that. Well, he'd make it fun at least. You know, wouldn't just be like respiratory failure. It's going to be worse than Trump, right? It could be any worse than Trump. It can't be any worse than Trump, no. And I'd like, you know, a lot of people don't realize this was an allegory for the Trump presidency. So. 